Yo, good morning guys and welcome to another day at uni. Um, I've got a session at 9 o'clock. Um, what is it? Let me just check for you guys. Okay, so today I'm in from, my first session is 9 to 11. And then 11 to 1, so I'm in from 9 to 1 basically. Uh, I've got real estate funding workshop and they're both the same session, but whether the lecturers actually will keep us from 9 to 1 I don't know, it depends how far, because sometimes they let you go 10-15 minutes early depending on how quick the lecture's going or whether they um, think it's better just to stop at one point and just carry on next week but obviously 9 to 1 I'm sure there's probably a lot to cover so today's my second day um, this is another module she'll be covering so hopefully it should be a good day but Today's breakfast, as I realised, the last couple of shots I really haven't really told you guys is Today's breakfast will be the bounty cookies They're quite nice, they're, they're quite nice actually, not bad With a glass of milk Classic combination Oh yeah, I also went shopping yesterday I got some beetroot, oh no way, what am I doing? This is supposed to be in the freezer. Damn it. I've got no space in there anyway, so. Yeah, like that. That'll do the job. Um, there you go. Got some lettuce. Got some smoked salmon slices. These are nice actually. Um, obviously, the beetroot there. And I've got some. Even the receipts in the fridge from last night. Uh, salmon fillets. So I'll probably have a salmon salad later on today. I don't know. Or I might just make the fries. And see what happens. But yeah, um, I'm just gonna eat my cookie, have some milk, then I'll be running off the uni today. Is, the weather's dull again. Yeah, as I was saying, until I press the power off button, the weather's quite dull. It's not looking too good. At least it's not raining. So. Yeah, because yesterday, obviously, as you saw, we got caught in the rain. So, yeah, I'm just going to eat my cookie real quick, have some milk, and then I'll be making my way down to uh, the Newton building where my session is being held. So I'll catch you guys in a bit. Oh, yeah, and also, make sure you carry a water bottle around. I need to refill this with some water. So, yeah, water is key. Goodbye. today had four hours straight of um, well not straight I had a little break in between that's when I got my baguette as you guys saw um, so obviously the lecture or well, seminar workshop was um, real estate funding it consists of two coursework which is 20% each two group presentation and an exam Obviously, I've got this written down so I was taking notes while in the lecture the module itself uh, will cover things like uh, debt and lending mortgages commercial property lending how the economy works obviously the real estate markets and the, the property sector economical cycles we'll see where it goes from that but right now obviously I'll be going over my notes um, just to refresh so I understand what's explained today 
I need to start buying books. Um, we've got given a, well, recommended. We've got basically, one, if you just look here. So this is basically a list of just books. Can you see? Yep. Obviously the ones with the star on it are the ones which were recommended. So I need to look into these, start purchasing and start reading. So they, obviously the books which are recommended have a connection to our course. Well, it's a bit blurry, isn't it? Yeah, um, obviously they will help us with our assignments our group presentation work and also our dissertation so obviously reading is key the more information you learn the more what do you call it the more analytical you can be in your um, dissertation because you've done your research basically but yeah apart from that um, I'm, obviously I'm just going to go through my notes etc go on Amazon check out the books see how much they are and start purchasing those I don't know what I'm doing later I need to go to the library to um, get one book out but i also need to edit my vlog because obviously you know i edit them in the library as i don't have a mac or um a laptop which can obviously run the software which i've already explained in the previous vlog so i'm sure you understand but yeah so i'll catch up with you guys later and i'm gonna just sort out my paperwork which i got today make sure they're all dated make sure they're titled correctly so when i do need to refer back to them they're easy to find rather than spending 10-15 minutes shuffling through paper so organization is key